Hacking, biggest problem in today's world. The biggest security issues hacking of social media pages. Most of the attackers use social media for data mining for their as well as commercial profits. And as we are all a part of internet network, let's start with the network among us. The picture affects several URLs over a network and they might be client URLs or malicious URLs. As the name suggests, everything over the network is connected and can access each other irrespective of their malicious nature or not. And if these malicious URLs over the internet get access to one's personal server, it's a compromise. Let's see what kind of attacks an attacker mostly performs. Phishing attack, also known as man in the middle attack. As the name suggests, the attacker basically tries to intercept the connection between the client and the server. He or she can either eavesdrop or manipulate. This can be in the form of fake likes, fake plugins, or even fake offerings on one's social media web page. Existing methods to prevent this kind of attack are honeypots. Honeypots are basically a decoy tool to distract or say redirect an attacker from the main priority information to a fake server, giving him or her an impression of a successful attack. But they still have some loopholes, you see, as attackers may detect honeypot over a network. Our aim is to create an analysis model to enhance the existing honeypots using AI for it to work even more efficiently. Now, what happens in the current scenario is, if I am an LV user and I happen to click a malicious link, say a fake offering, as soon as I reach the link, my personal credentials and FP data get compromised to the attacker who created the link. Our implementation is in such a way that our AI honeypot scans the malicious link and uses an algorithm to read it thoroughly and ultimately decide whether the URL is malicious or not. So, to figure out the problem, we went through several research papers and finally made an analysis model of our own, which looks like this. Now, coming to the level one of our analysis model, the low interaction honeypot. Malicious links which interact firstly with the low interaction honeypot of the model may change their codes and it is difficult to be identified by traditional antivirus methods. Hence, we do a heuristic analysis to detect any part of the malicious code. This analysis basically looks through the source code of the URL and finds any kind of malicious part in it. These are the rules of how a heuristic engine basically works. Now, the lower client honeypot, instead of redirecting it to the fake server, it forwards malicious link to the high interaction honeypot. This is the second level of our model. This high interaction honeypot actually identifies which type of malicious code or script is used. Log files are used in the high interaction honeypot for performing k-means clustering method to cluster different behaviors in categories or groups in order to study the similarity between all the malicious codes and create its own logs for new signatures for the next time any URL is trying to penetrate. Now, this cycle repeats itself as a result, the system keeps on enhancing itself by logging the new malicious behaviors into its directory and eventually using it as signatures to detect new attacking scripts or codes. Thank you.